So now we want to create a model to save that information that we've been creating in this view. We want to create a model that's based off of the form and that's also going to be working with um, two sets of, of different data. Um, so the first thing that we want to do is kind of think about how we're going to set this out. And I'm going to say class, I'll call it user answer. And user answer is going to be ideal answer to any particular question. So it's going to be models.model. And it's going to take a few foreign keys. First off, I'll say question. And then I'll say my answer. And then ideal answer or coworker answer. Another way to think of that is their answer. And then my answer importance. And then coworker answer importance. All right, so we've got the question, we've got the answer that I've selected, we've got the the answer importance level that I've also selected, and then the coworker answer importance. Okay, so the importance itself is going to be based off of our levels here, right? So when we actually save it, it's going to be in these levels. So these levels themselves, we might want to actually replace where they live or the list of them. We're going to put them right above this user answer. And then in forms, I'm just going to do from dot models import levels because it's now in the models. All right. So now that I've got these levels, I can do um, models dot char field. So models dot char field. I'm actually going to give us some space here so we can see this a little bit better. So models dot char field and we'll give it a max length of 50 characters because it's going off of these. 50 is probably too much, but 50 works. And then we'll do choices equals to levels. Max length. And it's gonna be the exact same thing for our user or coworker's answer. All right, so my answer, and then I'll just change coworker to their answer, just because then it doesn't have to be just about work. It could be all sorts of things. All right, so my answer, their answer, perfect. So my answer, question of course is going to be a foreign key because we are going to have many different answers for any particular question just like we have many um, a many user answers for any particular question just like we have many answers for any particular question so this part is the exact same and of course it's going to have to be a required value so question and then my answer is going to have to be based off of um, this answer itself so models dot foreign key and this is going to be answer. And then their answer is also going to be based off of answer. But if you remember back to our form, or actually our template, we have a holds no importance value, so a value of negative one. So if, it, if this means that the answer could actually be empty, that means that we can actually have an empty value here because negative one is not going to be an instance at all. So if we will do a check that makes sure that if it is negative one, then there is no value there. So that also means that in here, we can say answer, we'll say null equals to true and blank equals to true. So that means it can be empty in the database and it is not required. All right, that's what those two signify. So now that we've got this, we have an actual idea of what this user answer would be. So I'm gonna add a timestamp in here. And from this, we will have some other things that we'll actually need to calculate when this happens. But for now, I'm just going to leave it at this. Um, okay, so now we'll do define the Unicode. And we'll return self.myanswer. Self okay. Uh, dot text. And I'll give it the 10. Okay. So there's one other thing that I do want to have in here, and that is who answered this, right? Like there's nothing in here that says who answered it. So the last one is user equals to models dot foreign key. And we want to associate this to a user model. So if we go in here and we'll do from Django dot conf import settings, and we're going to use the auth user model. So settings dot auth user model. And this has to be required. So 
this is the user that is actually answering this question and therefore this is where we're gonna save it into the database based off of them. Um, so now that we've got this, let's actually run it and then I'll add, um, I'll add it to the admin so we can see all these different things um, in the admin itself. So in here, I'll add in user answer and then I'll just register it, admin.site.register user answer. All right, so let's go ahead and run this uh, Python manage.py make migrations. Uh-oh, we got this foreign key issue. Uh, so if we go back into our models, so it says stuff like, it says clashes with reverse for their answer and my answer. So what this is saying is that we have two of them with answers that aren't, well, we have two foreign keys with answers. Now, if you remember how foreign keys work with the reverse side of it is I can go to user answer. So in this case, I need to add in a related name. So related name equals to um, match answer. And then the other one would be just related name being user answer. So adding these related names, get rid of this, this problem um, for doing a reverse. Uh, so getting the model from, from the answer itself. Okay, so now we've got that. Let's do head make migrations and then migrate. And then we will run the server again. And we'll just take a look at the admin. We've got this user answers here. If I hit add new answer, I see that I have user so I can actually select a user. And these users are created in that Django registration Redux. So if you've actually set that up, that is exactly what's happening there. Um, so if we look at this registration right here, all of that stuff from Try Django, that actually creates a user object or a user model that you can come in here and use. Questions, I can actually grab the different questions. Answers, I can grab the various answers. Uh, my answer importance, again, all the same sort of stuff that you would expect. Um, and then the last one is their importance. It says not important, so we'll actually set those things in just a moment. Um, so now that we've got this, we're actually gonna stop here. We've created the model, it's ready to go. And the next one, we'll actually grab that data and actually store it into this model. But if you think about this, it's coming from a few different foreign keys and it's bringing all this stuff in together so we can use this data a lot more later. All right, so if you have any questions on this, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.